Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute, the podcast in which we celebrate and discuss the film Raiders of the Lost Ark one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor from IamTomTaylor.com. I'm Pete from PeteRemembers.com. I'm Jerry Porter from Hazelshood.com. And joining us today is our guest, Paul Sullivan. Welcome, Paul. Thank you very much. And I'm the host of the Sully Baseball Daily Podcast, where we I do a podcast every single day on baseball and coming up this weekend will be 1,300 consecutive days with an original baseball podcast every single day. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Well, oh, congratulations. Either congratulations awesome. or we're going to commit you. One of those two <laughs> facts. <laughs> Whichever is appropriate. And why choose, you know? <laughs> well, speaking as guys who have done uh, 47 daily podcasts, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> It's better than the United States Marines, eh? It, it is. Yeah. Oh! Now we're talking. <laughs> Speaking of, Minute 47 begins with uh, Sala greeting Indy as Sala's kids lead him out of the bar, and it ends with a little guy serving dates. Right. This is the most action-packed minute of the entire movie. <laughs> it, it, it's actually a very interesting minute when you watch it just on its own. Like, as a... Because... As we were saying uh, yesterday, uh, Sala's plan to help Indy was to send his kids, like maybe all of his kids, we're not sure how many he has, but maybe all of his kids into this bar with all these armed men about to kill his friend and uh, yeah. hoping for the best. And actually the best actually happened. It turns out that all these gunmen are deliriously happy at the sight of these kids to the <laughs> point where they forget that they're probably being paid i assume to like kill indiana yeah. jones and they just totally <laughs> drop that idea to watch kids get into a truck and, and let's not also forget the detail in that scene that at one point they all leave the cafe with their rifles yeah and there's no threat anymore now <laughs> it's okay now like you if i looked over and i saw a bunch of people who had guns pointed at me and are right. now approaching me still armed, and Indy has his back to him the whole time, putting Sala's 74 kids in the back of his <laughs> truck. But you, you know what I think? I think I know what happened. I think these guys, as you said, Tom, these guys were hired, and I think they just punched out. Yeah. <laughs> because they, they all come out of the bar like, you know, they're like, well, that's it, another tough day, you know, I mean, working for the old Nazis, for their Ferber. <laughs> and and they're just they're literally are all going out to a nice bowl of soup or whatever. Yeah, it's like yeah. And, there's just a punch clock as they all walk out of the yeah, door. Yeah, because they they all leave and I was looking. I'm like, wait, they all still have guns right. and they're flooding out of that bar or hookah place. Kids and getting into a truck. Cool. Sign me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I want to know is where were all these kids in Last Crusade? Because Sala's in Last Crusade. Sala, who, let's face it, reproduces more than any character, a major character that I know of. Right. As a Welshman in Egypt. And, <laughs> and he, is, he has a litter of kids. And yet when he goes, helps Indy, and obviously they need all the help they can get because it's Indy, Sala, and Sean Connery and Denham Elliott. So, I mean, he... <laughs> At this point, his kids would have been, you know, three or four years older. A couple of them must have been teenagers <laughs> at that point, just by the sheer law of averages. And, you know, why couldn't some of Sala's kids have uh, helped out to find the ground? Maybe he finally sent them into the wrong gun-filled bar. <laughs> and they're not around to help anymore. Because his wife isn't in his wife isn't in Last Crusade either. So, I mean, I'm not That's just saying. Gotta, That's between the age, lines. though. That's kind of the age, though, where the kids are like, Dad, I don't want to go look for that dumb grail thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bar yeah, day again. You don't go on biblical journeys, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, they might all have expired. I, mean, I think you're right. I think, Tommy, I think you're right. They may have all expired like, hey, are those great wives, the great whites out there? Well, quick, <laughs> send some kids 
out to save the swimmer. <laughs> and speaking of uh, of uh, ungrateful or you know unappreciative or unfeeling, maybe Sala could not give a shit about Marion being dead. Oh yeah, yeah. He's real Buddhist about that. Life goes on. <laughs> That's what my well, note is. Is like, is he yeah. just a heartless jerk, or does he have the best attitude possible? Or does well, he not like Marion? Is he like glad she's gone? Oh, maybe she spilled that I wine. I think he had a table. thing for Marion. I think he had a thing for Marion. It's kind of like, all right, well, if I can't ever, you can't ever. <laughs> right. I, Sala is the portliest guy in the movie. Is he not? <laughs> uh, I think he's a yeah. Is he portly? Yeah, he's portly. not. The Perkins is in the film. Yeah. Oh, it's in the hey, film. You just movie. shot my. Film. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you my film you shot you shot my theory yeah i was gonna say aren't you know aren't portly guys generally happy not porkins he's a jerk no porkins is a jerk that's true that's well there goes Wait, i was I, just gonna say sala's kind of you know maybe he said he's the happiest guy and he's got the best attitude about it can i go back for a second porkins yeah. i gotta clip porkins is not a jerk but eaton is a jerk porkins in this movie is a jerk but porkins jet porkins red six is not a jerk there i, I just wanted to i felt right. that felt there, wrong in my mouth i'm sorry and they were, you, you don't want Porkins in your mouth. But no. The, uh, the, the uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's played by the great William Hootkins, who's one of the greatest that guys. And you realize how often he pops up, whether it's in Batman or mm -hmm. in Flash Gordon. Like every time he turns around, going, you know, he's in Superman 4, he shows up. Right. And they go like, whoa, that, that's him. There he is. <laughs> and, and he just has a wonderful career of just popping up in memorable roles in some of your favorite movies and Superman 4. If I were going to be a movie actor, I'd want to have that kind of career where you're not exactly a movie star, but you're just constantly working and you're just showing up and stuff and you're that guy. Yeah. That'd be kind of awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't mean to destroy your, your theory, but it's strange that we're talking about, <laughs> you know, a, a Buddhist. He's, he's, he's an Egyptian, of course, played by a Welshman. <laughs> Um, sure. And, yeah. So why uh, not Buddhist? Yeah. Well, the, po the, po the point is, it's too soon. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> yeah, really. yeah. Could, yeah. Yeah. It's too soon. I mean, and I, which leads me to another question: Did Mary? Like, is that today? Like, did Marion die today? Oh yeah, like an hour or ago. Is it, that's, yeah, like an hour ago. It's like the same day. <laughs> He's still getting drunk from when she just blew up. Like how? Yeah, so but how, how, I mean, how long have how they been there? Hope? Um, because there were so many people in the square when the truck blew up. <laughs> they're all witnesses and word got around or did i think maybe the monkey told them <laughs> possibly that monkey is working which, all sides which, hey i have a question about this the monkey when baranka you know the the eye patch baranka sure baranka. actually gives the high sign to the monkey and the monkey says uh oh is is he saying hey stick to the plan we're gonna go forth with it or is he saying, hey, 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 hold back. There's been a change of plans. Well, I think it's more to himself. And I think it's more like, ah, oh, geez, there's Baranka. I'm supposed to be like, uh, you know, stooling no, he, on he these guys. No, he looks over at the monkey and he raises his right hand like, hey, hey, hey. Like he Don't either raises it like, Don't eat yeah, like, like go, go, go. <laughs> or if he's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, are you saying what Baranka's saying? No, I Baranka, think he, yeah, Baranka's Baranka's basically gives saying, him the sign. Yeah, he's saying, hey, just cool. Don't don't blow my cover. Don't let him know I'm here. Don't let him know I'm here. Oh, okay. What's it? I oh, always yeah, sort of saw that as like the truck. I always You're sort right. of saw it like the monkey is uh, freaked out by seeing Baranka. He's reminded that he's supposed to be a bad monkey spying on the good guys. Yeah. And he sees Baranka, and Baranka's sort of like, hey, don't forget. You're you're my monkey. You're working for me, <laughs> and we're working for the Nazis. And the monkey's kind of like, ah, jeez. Oh, man. All right. I'll play along, but I don't. I feel funny about this. Well, you yeah. know who doesn't get to punch out? The monkey. <laughs> I, I mean, it's he, he's he's always conflicted, apparently. Yeah. And, I, and yeah. every episode that he's in, I feel a little differently about him. And sometimes yeah, I'm like, Od odious monkey, I hate him. And then other times he's kind of, you know, you're like, oh, he's just hanging out with Indy. And you're like, well, maybe. He's, and then he, he claws at the Nazi guys, the slick Nazi's ear and his face. And you like, see, he's upset. Maybe he's <laughs> starting to maybe maybe he's starting to, you know, have some compunctions about this whole job. We were right. talking about that last minute where they walk out into the sunshine, the bright sunshine. Maybe that was the monkey's epiphany. Maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> but was the monkey anti-Semitic? I mean, he is a Nazi. I mean, with that that much is uh, that much is clear. 
Well, is he a Nazi or is he just working for the Nazis currently? With you at this point, you, 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 what is this? The English patient? We're going to really sort of break down. The, <laughs> we're going to break down the, how strong the allegiance the monkey is to the. I just don't want to go labeling monkeys un, unnecessarily. You know, it's not he totally fair. He did a sig heil. He did. He did a sig heil. It That's seemed a little ironic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would like to add to my, um, confusion about Sala right now. If you, we don't know this now, but soon we're going to find out that he knows right now that the Nazis have their own headpiece, yeah. which is news that he knows is going to upset Indy. So yeah. right now he knows that Marion is dead. He's holding back from Indy that there's terrible news concerning the search for the Ark of the Covenant. And he's still like a totally jolly, happy, slappy dude. <laughs> he's, well, like, we, he's i mean he's the second fattest guy in the movie yeah <laughs> he's just fat enough to be that mindlessly jolly yeah but if i may for potent. oh no good still potent i mean the man is i mean how have we kept track of how many kids he has i mean he may be he may be heavier than say indy or belloc at this point yeah. but it works yeah you know? well marion uh <laughs> estimated it at uh eight or nine kids yeah yeah, she couldn't even count. It was too many to count. Yeah. That's pure virility walking around. That is. Yeah. That's Falstaffian. Look, look, I've been fat. And one thing, I wasn't that virile. And number two, <laughs> I was a lot happier. <laughs> That's true. I, I've, I used to talk about on stage, and I, and I, will, I will say this right here. I don't know. How, how bad can my language be on this? Um, we can cover up anything that we find upsetting. <laughs> okay, I used to say fat guys who f are the happiest people in the world. Because <laughs> what else do they possibly need? They've got everything. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. and it sounds like a Randy Newman song, but it's true that the <laughs> that if you're heavy and overweight, that. and you've eaten your your share of pie and veal parmesan, and you're having sex, you've won. You have won yeah. life. <laughs> so much that when someone dies, you go meh. Eh. Yeah, life moves died on. with a Pass smile on his face. <laughs> Pass the with a smile and pie on his face, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is? I think we solved the Marion, uh, you know, <laughs> the Marion issue. Yeah. Okay, so then Indy and uh, Sala end up at uh, the Imam's place. Is that what it is, Imam? Yeah. And uh, yeah. we get that shot. I mentioned this like way back in Nepal, where. Uh, as Indy was leaving the bar originally when Marion's kicking him out, uh, there's that shot of him with the single light shining on his eye through yeah. the lattice of the door. And that reminded me of this shot now where you're actually looking at him uh, through the thing, through the, through the lattice of this door. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I like that shot. And this is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. And this is one of my favorite parts to that scene. Cause it, it feels just like, one of those long summer evenings and you hear the cicadas outside and they're chirping yeah. and the, the kids behind chimes. you making dates. And yeah, it's, you just want to sit there and talk to your friends. And... You know, way... I, I, I'm going to say something here and I, I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds, but I think whoever directed this movie has talent. I think I, I, didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't really pay attention to the credits. and I don't know what it is he's done, but I think this guy knows how to make a movie. I, I looked him up. Wrong. His name is Spielberg. And yeah, whatever in, it is, yeah. I, mean, I, I didn't note. I didn't make a note. Uh, he was I don't in the know Blues what else Brothers. He's done, but I, I keep my eye on him. I think he's got. I think he's got a. I think he's got. He's got ability. He's got ability. We'll see. We'll see. He might just be a flash in the pan, but we'll keep an eye on him. Someday he'll make a film that really connects with the audience. I think. <laughs> <laughs> if he just keeps doing what he's doing, it'll happen. You keep being you. <laughs> I did look up uh, the name of the bar. I was curious if that meant anything. Marhala. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it's in the it's in yeah. the background. Yeah, it's an ancient Arabic measure of length, and it, it's the length of a village. Oh, weird! And we're about to talk about measurements and lengths and stuff in the next mm -hmm. uh, minute. Nice. Look at that. Now I'm that you, is. I'm telling you, this Spielberg guy, he knows <laughs> something. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, uh, Pete, can you tell everybody um, where they can write to us? Yeah, about well, first of all, I was going to say, if you like baseball, uh, definitely check out Sully Baseball Podcast. It's fantastic. Yes. And you can hear it every day for the rest of your life. 
<laughs> and if you like us, check us out at indianajonesminute.com or Indiana Jones Minute on Facebook. And come back tomorrow uh, for Minute 47 of Raiders of the Lost Ark here on the Indiana Jones Minute. I don't care how fat you are. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs>